Good afternoon, my friends. My birthday is coming. In less than two weeks, I'm going to be in my birthday here in Pasadena, California, and I want to enjoy it. As some of you might have seen in Facebook, I initiated a fundraising, looking for donation for the World Wildlife Fund. This is the organization that helps endangered species, and I wanted to contribute to them because I had a serendipity last night. I was thinking about my life and what has been going on in the last months, and I was drawn back to think about elephants, and I'll tell you why in a few minutes. And when I was thinking about the elephants, suddenly in my TV appeared an elephant in an ad from, from the World Wildlife Fund saying, adopt an elephant. And I said, oh my God, some, somebody's telling me something. So I went back to Facebook and I saw that was, I was invited, invited to create a fundraising looking for donations. And in the charities I could select, the World Wildlife Fund was, so I immediately did it and I posted this fundraising to celebrate my birthday. I'm going to tell you why I did it with the elephants. At first, I want, you to, I want to talk about Helen Keller. Helen Keller, this American writer, who more than a writer, was a thinker or a philosopher that said that life is an adventure, that security is just an illusion, and that if we don't live life as an adventure, it's not worth living. I always have thought about this phrase, but today I understand it much more. And it overlaps in this story in two, in two positions, in the first, at the beginning, and at the end. In 2011, I came to California to work in San Diego, where I had the fortune of working with a great man who was my master, my teacher, my mentor, and my good friend. He taught me many lessons, and he said many things that still today I'm starting to understand and to learn from him. I'm very grateful. We worked together for some years, and we were very successful. We exceeded all expectations. His support was a, an element that made my success very, very important. And if that my life had continued through that path, probably my life would be very different. I would be very successful, very comfortable. At that time, I felt very secure. I thought everything was under control and that my life was bound for success. And probably it was, but not the, in the way I thought it would be at that time. Some years after uh, I was working with this man, he changed jobs and he was going to another organization. Between jobs, he took a short vacation in Africa when he had, where he had some land and he had an accident. And during a safari, a photograph safari, he got down of the tram where he was he saw an elephant that came out of the woods. He tried to run back to the tram and he fell and the elephant caught him against the tree and the, well, he died several days after enough. That was very painful because I lost a friend. But also it had enormous consequences in my life and in my professional development. Consequences that I didn't measure at that moment but that for the last years I have seen happen and today now I realize that an elephant that I had never met changed my life. And why? Because my boss, at that time, he loved adventure. He thought life was an adventure. He took the adventure and probably, if he hadn't done it, he would thought that his life was not worth living. He died in an accident, but I'm pretty sure that's the way he wanted his life to end. So, after three years in my new position, because of circumstances that I'm not going to discuss now and that had nothing to do with me or with anyone, it just happened. I, had, I was launched out of the organization because my position was eliminated and I started an adventure. I'm not going to say I came voluntarily to the adventure. I was pushed to the adventure, but now I'm in the middle of it and I'm enjoying it. I'm not going to say it, it hasn't been painful because it has anxiety sometimes. But at the end of the day, I have learned a lot of things about me, about my friends, about my family about my colleagues, about my profession, about my future, about my daughter, about everything. So probably my life today, if the elephant hadn't been in the middle, would have been more comfortable, but not, that rich, not as rich as it is today. And I'm grateful for that. So that is how I see life today, as the adventure Helen Keller told us. My boss and friend lived his adventure, now I'm living mine. That is why Helen Keller's words overlap in this story. Okay, having said that, 
I want you to know something a friend of mine told me a couple of weeks ago. This lady told me, whenever you feel bad, you feel desperate, you feel things are not going your way, and you are blaming someone, go back to that something or someone and look at it carefully and don't blame it. Thank it or thank him or thank them. And once you thank them, think you'll see life different and you'll begin to grow and to take advantage of these lessons you have been learning. So that is what I am doing now. I went back, well, it started everything that's going on today, the elephant. And, the, and life gave me the opportunity and showed me the serendipity on how to help elephants. So I want to invite you to come with me and put a little small grain of sand to contribute with elephants. Because they changed my life and they improved it. So I want to pay them back by trying to save the life of the elephant that brought this change to me and many other elephants. So, if you want to wish me a happy birthday, come with me and donate so we can save the lives of the elephants and thank them for the way they have improved my life today. Thank you so much. I hope you have enjoyed this story and that I didn't bore you. Thank you so much and I will see you in my birthday, January 17. See you on the social media, see you on Facebook and in all the other media so we can celebrate. Thank you so much.